Hello everybody and welcome back to the arduous quest of beating the Binding of Isaac with either Kane or Blue Baby. Last time we came unbelievably close with Kane. Now we're gonna try with Blue Baby, who in turn we became unbelievably close to beating the game with a video before that. Hopefully this will be the one that uh that breaks it, but I'd be surprised. Because Blue Baby is always you know, it's a, an enigma wrapped in a mystery. Take this out and hopefully pick up some bombs or keys at some point so that I can go to the shop or, you know, potentially blow up some tinted rocks because Lord knows I need pretty much every spirit heart I can get, really any advantage I can get as Blue Baby in order to beat the game. Hey, Dead Sea Scrolls is pretty good right off the bat. That's the item that gives us uh, a random items effect in every room, so we'll never know until we use it what the item will be. Sometimes it's going to be great, sometimes it's not going to be fantastic, but it's always going to be, well, it's not always going to be useful, but it's always going to be interesting, let's put it that way. Dead Sea Scrolls makes for a pretty good early game item, because, you know, there's not a lot of consequences here in the early game, but it's interesting. It makes for interesting gameplay, let's put it that way. Now, i got to watch out here, because I'm doing not a whole lot of starting damage, so when it comes to these guys, i got to be careful. Oh, that, but that, ah, that damage is pretty valuable. I could use Dead Sea Scrolls here, but I want to make sure I have it charged up for the boss fight. And of course, when I use it against the boss, it'll probably just use poop or something anyway, but oh well. Could do something awesome. Could behave as a Book of Revelations for a while. Who knows? Or a nail, for example. Come on. There we go. What do we get out of this room? Heart we can't even use, and a useless bomb. Hmm. Well, we'll continue exploring and hopefully find something a little bit better than that along the lines. That is, start with this floating head. Oh, that was a really damn good shot by that floating head there. Something they can't see because its eyes are completely covered in blood. Not bad aim on that. Excellent. We got a bomb and a key now. I'll probably use that bomb to try to find the secret room, though. Possibly. It depends on how many possible locations there are for the secret room. Might also be important to just save it in the hopes that I'll find a tinted rock at some point. But again, money is good, because then you can go to the shop. And when you go to the shop, you can potentially buy some spirit hearts there as well. Well, there's only one location that looks likely to hold the secret room, so I will use my bomb to try to find hopefully some money or a permanent item in there. Slot machine! Well, we'll play it twice, see if we get lucky. Hey, that is pretty much the definition of getting lucky when you're playing as Blue Baby. Because Lord knows you aren't going to get any play. I mean, look at you. All right, so let's go fight the boss. Here we do. Who are we dealing with? Regular Larry Jr. What's Dead Sea Scrolls? Anarchist Cookbook. All right. Well, that should probably murder Larry Jr. Really. Yeah, nearly dead already. Surprisingly effective. And hey, we got the pentagram for some increased damage. That's actually probably one of the most valuable items that we could get this early on in the game. It's going to pay dividends consistently. Pentagram gives us, I believe, two damage up. Maybe only one, but I think it's two. And that's that's not bad at all. Still not quite the powerhouse we were when we were playing as Kane last time, but it's still okay. Hey, there's a tinted rock. I would love to be able to blow that up. Maybe some bombs inside this chest? Yes, but I didn't think fast enough to push them over into the general vicinity of where I needed them to go to blow up that tinted rock. Hopefully I'll get some more items later on. What we got here? Forever alone. We got a little attack fly, and it'll be kind of effective at the very least. Not a superb item, but it's it's an upgrade at least. It's not a lateral movement. It's definitely a forward movement. Oh, ah! Uh, will it go through walls? It will. So I can just kind of hang back and let Forever Alone take care of some of these guys. Excellent. I'm gonna have to actually make some moves, I think, here to take out this grandfather fly, though. Go get him! I got lucky to not take damage there. Oh, well, I'll use Dead Sea Scrolls on Gluttony. And it will be totally useless unless he wanders, like, way out of his chosen path. Lemon Mishap, not a great item to get at any point in the game. But particularly when you're not expecting it. Hey, that HP up. I'm not going to complain about that. I mean, of course, HP ups do kind of suck when you're playing as Blue Baby because they're only spirit hearts, technically. But still, I said I wasn't going to complain about it. I've reneged on that promise already. Hey, there's a bomb. Let's go back and blow up that tinted rock. Maybe get some spirit hearts out of it. 
really hoping this is going to be the run for Blue Baby. So I'll amass a lot of Spirit Hearts early and trade them to the Devil for something that will give me some leverage later on. Hey, there's another bomb. Only one Spirit Heart, but that's okay. Having a bomb is useful too, you know? Now I can find another Tensed Rock. Okay, forever alone, I'm going to rely on you to take out one of these guys. Hey, hey, cut. There you go. Get him! Uh, just out of your range. It's, it's kind of embarrassing. You should really work on that, buddy. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks for the damage. Now a couple of diagonal shots, or a single diagonal shot will be enough to take him out. I want to finish exploring this floor before we, before we fight the boss, because I'd like Dead Sea Scrolls to recharge as well. But so far, so good on this Blue Baby run. Not spectacular, yet, but a, a decent loadout to be sure. Having increased damage is so important. I've, I've stressed that a lot in the most recent videos, but seriously, uh, probably the most valuable stat to upgrade is damage, because it... Like, health up is obviously important as well to give you a nice supply of, uh, of hearts that you can draw from. But when you do increase damage, you're going to take a lot less damage overall, so you're going to lose less hearts, so you're not going to need as many. So I think damage is my favorite upgrade to get. Beyond that, the worst... Yeah, that's a good poll for this. What's your favorite blank up to get? Health up, speed up, range up, tears up. What's your least favorite? My favorite is damage. I think my least favorite is usually range, actually. Speed is not always useful, but... The range, I think, is worse. Dead Sea Scrolls, Kamikaze! Oh lord. So we can use that multiple times, but I'm not going to because, uh... It is actually going to cost me a lot of spirit hearts. And I don't have a lot to give up. Come on, come on. It's already half dead. Kamikaze is a pain in the ass when you get it for Dead Sea Scrolls, because you're never expecting it. It could reasonably kill you if you were using it uh, to fight a boss and you didn't have very much health left. There we go, it'll die. Range up. Oh god. Devil, please give me good prices. Necronomicon! Oh, For three hearts? I can't go with that. I would love to, but I, I lost too many hearts on that last floor. Let's use those Dead Sea Scrolls here. Oh, Game Kid, that's good. I said all the enemies run away from me now! Oh well, Attack Fly actually took out a few of those. Game Kid works the same as the Unicorn, except all the enemies run away. Similar to playing a Pac-Man. So, murder this guy, and the Grandfather Fly that came with him. And then just continue exploring. Hey, there's an opportunity to completely waste a key. Let's not do that just yet. Yeah, speed and range, why not? And just after saying that both speed and range are some of my least favorite upgrades. Let's get both of them at once. Hey, two, uh, two heads are better than one, right? That doesn't really make any sense. But, it's okay. Oh, Attack Fly just ravaged that human popcorn there. Oh, one more set. And you will be dead. And who are we getting now? Turrets? Yes. Not so bad as long as we know what we're dealing with. Okay. One more hit on this guy. Hey, a key. That's actually really useful. Could use it to pop open that chest. In fact, that's probably the most likely use for it, because I probably won't be going to the shop on this floor. Come on, come on. Oh, dumb, 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 dumb. Hey, but there's a bomb. We got here skeleton key. All right, that changes everything. Open all the chests. And shoot all the fire, constantly. Hmm. Looking pretty badass. Let's open this up. Something good. Lots and lots of money. Sounds good to me. Now, let's continue exploring. We we'll want to go to the secret room. Now, this changes everything. So, I we'll want to go to the secret room. Go to the shop, probably. At the very... At the most, I'm going to be spending two bombs here to get three, which is a fair trade. So, let's go through with that. And... Come up here. Single host, not a bad room at all. Could probably use Dead Sea Scrolls once, but uh, why not save it? Hmm. Come up here. Oh, turrets. Okay. I need that first one to pop up, please. There we go. Now I can get to the second one. The second one will pop up. Let's just hang on. Now, go for it. Excellent. Now we'll get to the top one. 
could also run around at the top, I suppose, but that worked okay, too. Yeah, I'll use a bomb to get to this chest. You never know what it might contain. Parts I can't use. I immediately regret that decision. Ah! Bomb flies. I feel like I'm speaking Klingon every time I get angry at the bomb flies. It's not a word from the English language. Now, these should explode pretty soon. Along with that. Not doing so well on hearts right now. Uh, I could use use a spirit heart boost, that's for sure. But like everything else is going pretty well. Oh lord. Uh, like in terms of health, poor. But attack, pretty good. My spacebar item is okay, although I would probably trade it for almost anything. What do we got here? A map and a heart I can't use. Well, I would love to buy that map. May not be possible though. May not be in the cards for this floor. This is a worse layout to fight these turrets on, but that's okay. We'll just take our time, do a little circle strafing. Might not be able to get them all going down at once, but still, we can do something here. There's one. Next one will go down in one shot. Or not. Come on. See, you're going to do me like that? There we go. One more. Oh. Oh, the attack fly killed him. Thanks a lot, buddy. Secret room could be here. Slot machine. I'm just going to explode it. Key in a heart. Well, what a waste. Let's see who we're fighting here. Regular Gertie, Dead Sea Scrolls, Anarchist Cookbook again. Well, they all spawned around Gertie, which is fine by me. This could still be a fairly long fight, though, although I'm doing pretty good damage. Stay away from the nubs. And just hammer away at Gertie from the left position here. Take care of everything else when necessary. For now, it's going well. Can't complain. Stay out of the range of the nubs. Everything takes care of itself. The tag fly does a pretty substantial amount of damage. I like it. It's unfortunate that it's impossible to control, but hey. The heart that is unusable. And I took some more damage after defeating the boss. That hurts. I don't feel that good about this this Gertie run. Or this uh Boo Baby run anymore. By this point, I would be hoping to have a, a killer item, like a brimstone or something, but that has not panned out yet. Things can change. You've gotta really plan ahead when you're fighting these guys. Cause easily trap you. Oh, there we go. I got them all in a row. Except the attack fly murder one of them. And it did. Yet another key. Of course, now that I need bombs, I'm getting keys constantly the arcade, which I will probably not go to. Don't really need to. And the, the, like, the main draw of the arcade... I am going to use a bomb here, believe it or not. No, I'm going to save it. main draw of the arcade now is uh, to get that blood bag item. Because the blood bag gives you an HP up. But, uh, with me unable to use... Or unable to use the blood bank... How am I trying to say this? Let's use these pills, and then I'll talk. Speed up. Alright, that's good. That's our item here. Shears! Absolutely better than Dead Sea Scrolls. If I could choose one here, there we go. What I'm trying to say is, usually you go to the arcade, your your MO is going to be win hearts from the slot machine and the three skull guy, and then use those hearts to recuperate your health after you go to the blood bank, checking to see if you're going to get the blood bag item. Unfortunately, I can't rejuvenate my health without spirit hearts, and my health is too valuable to waste. Health down! Perfect timing, but still... Not boating well, is it? Oh. Well, thanks for the spirit heart. But still, that was a cruel joke game. I'm, I'm not quite over it yet. Well, that's a start. <laughs> we'll take care of all this stuff. I really want to get some more money. Because shears plus battery is a good combination. Not as good... Oh man, Book of Revelations plus battery. That would put me over the moon right now. It would give me a shot. That's all I need, just give me a shot. That was my Sylvester Stallone impression. Just saying, repeating something I'd said earlier that sounds like it could be tangentially related to boxing. But anyway. We can't really make any deals with the devil yet, so... I wouldn't be expecting a nail anytime soon. Unless I find a bunch of tinted rocks and a bunch of bombs. 
Oh, walked right into it. Okay, I'll come down here. And completely miss those turrets on my first shots. Let's go with the double flies first. Or let's just fire aimlessly and see what happens. Alright, I'm not done with this floor yet. No siree, but I will fight the boss, use the shears. Hey! Doesn't this give us the, uh... This gives us brimstone, doesn't it? Well, I will definitely try not to die during this fight, then. And, Meat Boy, please do me solid here, man. He's keeping up with them, I'm impressed. Yeah, that's alright, just chew it up, take your time. This has been an easy fight with the shears, actually. I pray this gives me brimstone, I think it does. Ah, uh, no, actually, it gave me the Monster Manuel. And I've totally forgotten what the Monster Manual does. But you know what? While we're in the spirit of being interesting, let's take that, we'll abandon the shears. For now, we'll go exploring on the rest of the caves part two. And we'll at least get a couple uses out of this. See what it's got going on for it. This is the item that you get for beating the game with, um... A character whose name I can't remember. I think it was beating the game with Judas you get this item. I'm not going to use it on this room because... I, if, if it damages enemies, it's not going to damage them right away. Whatever. Um, no, I'll save it. I'll save it. I'll use it on the next room. Or a room where I have some difficulties. Hey, Penny. Let's use it on this room. Perfect. Oh, it gives you a random item to follow you around for one room. Well, you know what? That's not as good as the shears. But it's going to make for a more interesting run. So let's do that. That's pretty cool. Uh, it doesn't charge nearly as fast as it would have to charge to be useful. But, uh, hey, that's still kind of cool. I like, I like items that introduce a lot of random chance to the game. Because the game is heavily based in random chance anyway, so... You know, why not embrace that to the fullest? Attack flight. Yes, there we go. Yet another bomb. Now, if I could only find more tinted rocks. I was banging seven gram tinted rocks last night. I can't believe I made that joke. It's Charlie Sheen reference. That's so early 2011. There we go. And a few more rooms to explore, which is fine by me. I suppose this item is actually good because I could get... The nail, maybe? I don't know. 11 cents. Ladder. God, a compass would be really useful. There's so many possible locations for the secret room here. Double flies. Not an issue, hopefully. Always gotta be careful when you deal the killing blow to that double fly, because it sends the other flies, like, shooting out in various directions. Two directions, I suppose. And extra spirit heart. Glad I took a chance here. Absolutely. Robo Baby! Oh, it's a baby that also shoots technology. That's pretty useful. I can see myself getting both some good items and some items that would absolutely destroy me. What a waste. At least we got the Empress. That'll give us the curse for a room. Dare we look for the secret room with only three bombs? Eh, let's, let's, let's check. Getting the compass or ladder would be useful. Well, lucky me. And... That's pretty good right there. What do I want more? Probably the ladder, because I'm, I'm going to need to get some more items, really. I can always do a lot of exploring, but... Yeah. Yeah, we'll buy the ladder. And why not? We'll try the pills. Telepills. Well, that saved me some time. Shears are more useful, but... We'll take the shears. Monster Manual was nice while it lasted, though. It's cool, I got to see Robo Baby. It's been a while. Thank you for making my job a little bit easier. Two champion zombies, though. And one of those, uh, I don't know what you call it, an Isaac zombie. Which are nearly impossible for me to kill for some reason. Spoilers, it's because I'm not very good at that enemy type. I was going to say at the game, but I'm, I'm, I'm alright at this game. I think we can agree on that by now. I'm not going to be winning, you know, Isaac Evo tournament anytime soon, but I'm alright. I got some skill. And also some serious, serious flaws. Whoa. As if on cue, he takes damage. 
plant a bomb here because we'll want to go to that chest. I just bought the ladder, didn't I? Yep, what a waste. Well, at least it took some of those guys down to the ooze state. And I'll pick up that key, which would make it a r round 100 if... I don't know. Do we even need to talk about it? I don't think so. Just don't get caught in the creep! This is going poorly, poorly as hell, really. One and a half spirit hearts left on the depths part one. Well, you know, it would strange twist of fate. It would actually be a nice change of pace to not die against Satan for once. Die against a random enemy, maybe a silkworm. Might be a nice, nice little variety added into this Let's Play. It would also be a nice variety to actually beat Satan for the first time in a while. Oh, fuck me. Terrible. Terrible play on my part there. Well, anyway. That blue baby blew his shot at the championship. We're going to go back to Kane next time. I apologize for the short video, but... God damn, it really goes to show you how hidden miss runs with blue baby are. Sometimes you're going to get really great setups, like I had two videos ago, and sometimes you're going to get fucked in the ass by Lexington Steel. He's a notoriously well-endowed male porn star. But in any case... Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time, hopefully with a longer video. I didn't even get my vocal cords warmed up here.